What's up, guys? It is Patrick. We are back. Hopefully, you guys can see me. Actually, I'm going to turn this on on Discord. Now you can see me. Um, we are live <clears throat> via ZBrush. ZBrush Live, per usual. We're going to be cooking something digitally, of course. And uh, what I thought that would be fun today is making a couple different things, like these Hostess cupcakes, Twinkies, and Ho-Hos, I believe they're called. And uh, kind of just have fun with it and be make it simple. First stream using ZBrush 2024. <clears throat> Shout out to like the whole team that made like all those crazy updates because I'm like mad excited about them. And uh, let's kind of get it. And if you haven't downloaded ZBrush 20, 2024, I think you definitely should. Um, we're going to show a couple different features too. So honestly, let's get it. Let's, uh, let's go to our tablet here. <clears throat> I got a few different references here. The Twinkie, the Ho-Ho. The, uh, what's this one called, Perp? Oh, Cupcake. Graphics? Make sure you're typing ho-ho and not, like, just one of the... Um... <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, for, for those of you on ZBrush Live... What's up, Ashley? What's going on? Ashley Fegans. Sorry, I'm just seeing these. Sam, Lord Luigi Riggs, Thief Keith. Oh, is that the dude in Discord? Keith? <clears throat> Miss A, how you doing? Hola, como estas? Um, other than that, yeah. If you guys hear me talking to myself, it's I'm actually talking to people on Discord. And I believe the link is in the description here to my Discord. Discord.gg slash p4d. So, uh... So typically it'll be like, uh, I'll be streaming the process here. I'll be doing the sculpt. Everything ZBrush will be here. And then everything in, uh, after that we'll be putting this, sorry, texturing in Cinema 4D. Uh, so if you want to see the texturing process and like we build the scene after that, feel free to tune in, uh, via the discord. <clears throat> What's up noodles? What's going on? We live on uh, the ZBrush channel. I think we're still live, right? Yeah, we're good. What's up, uh, Maximo? I'm actually gonna move this because it doesn't look like my chat is loading. So I, I can only see the YouTube chat here. So I'm actually gonna move this here so I can see it easier. Move the Discord there and we're good. Okay. Yeah, that ain't it. All right, so we're gonna make one of the, we're gonna make uh, the cupcakes, the ho hos, and the Twinkie, I believe. So we're gonna try to do three in one. <clears throat> so let's make the Twinkie first, might as well. I thought since they're relatively simple, make uh, a few. Maximo Victoria, what's up, fam? Oops. Essentially, I'm chopping up this thing. Um, we're gonna kind of go hold down control and drag up on the scale in either direction. And so obviously that just makes it easy to chop off. <clears throat> we're gonna mask here, okay. And uh, should be good. Some of the axis. No, they cannot. Hey, yo. Yes, for sure, of course. Just polygrouping this stuff up, so. Oh my god. 
All right, so what we're gonna do here now is uh, square this thing out. Um, I think the best way to do that is just to chop off some of the top, just like this, then kind of uh, feather this out. Feather it completely, drag it up. And then make sure we turn on symmetry for this part so we can kind of square out the uh, edges. And again, these are kind of spongy and you know mass produced, so they can have some irregularities. It's not too crazy to make them too perfect. Unfortunately, my chat's not loading on this other side for some reason. I don't know if I just have to reopen it, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh, really? I was going to say... I think that's fun. <clears throat> now, uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? I think we actually might want to zero mesh this at this point. But first, let's actually. This should be a little bit smaller. This end or this one? This one? So this is, okay. This one looks kind of straight though, that's the thing. What's up, Bessie? <clears throat> if I go here, let's mirror it on the Z. It's a little bit better. Because we're live on, uh, we're live from the ZBrush accounts today. Um, so, if, like on their, I think Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, we're live from the ZBrush channels currently. They can't hear you guys though. Yeah, it's Bestie. Hey, it's good enough. I, I know you're in a tough spot. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the Twinkie shape here. Um, I'm actually going to use this new tool that I figured out about. It's not new, but it's new to me. If you take the gear and go extender, and the, the blue dot is where we want it to be. But check this out. We just go... And uh, yeah, that's that. Actually... There's gotta be a way to do it without a poly group, because I don't want a poly group. Symmetry, resolution. There has to be a way. Oh. Is that creasing? No. Are we in last one now? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, damn.
I don't know if there's a way around that actually. I wonder if there's. Hmm. That's like creasing. No? Oh well. So now we got. It'd be a little bit less. But... Or we could just do this. Like, honestly, it's not. We're gonna use this new feature in 2024, which involves the knife brush. I'm actually gonna save this before we get too far into this because y'all know how it gets. 11, 21, 23. Uh, Z brush live. Just a couple other things. <clears throat> okay, I think that looks. Wait, I'm live? A little bit organic edges to that. Honestly, this still looks a little bit taller, so let's like go down here, I guess, and... Boom. So now we're gonna remesh, keeping groups, of course. And see. Yep. So that should be good. So now we're going to uh, knife this out. And the cool thing with the new knife settings is, let's say we go like lasso. Typically we would just be destroying half of the mesh, but it gives us poly groups, which is cool. Now, if you hold down the space bar <clears throat> with everything else, you can split the parts. So it will keep the other side, which is what we want. Like we could not do that before, at least not as easily as we just did. Um, so we're already prepping it for uh, everything we need to do to it. So we're actually going to remesh both of these. Let's do same smooth groups down to zero, just so we can fix these edges. Looks fine. Maybe turn dynamic on, see what's going on. <clears throat> now for this, I'm trying to think of the best plan here, I think. I think with ZBrush, you can make things so many different ways. Mm hmm. So, okay. Let's go. I'm trying to think how I want to make this. Let's go and add, okay. Let's go and add a few subdivisions. We got 137,000 active points. And then we're gonna go select a couple of these. We actually, it'd be cool to you know, make these one poly group. Actually, no, sorry. Yeah, this is fine to just select these out at this point. <clears throat> mask, unhide, invert mask. Actually, let's feather it a little bit and invert the mask. So right now the only things that are unmasked are the twinky part that is not cut inside. And with that, we can bring up like a surface noise or something. Let's test out the new max on which is max on no. Hey, yeah. Check on me. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. I don't know. I don't know who you be talking to. 
<laughs> there we go. So now we're looking at max on noises here. Shut up, perp. And now with the, the correct settings made, perp, we can kind of see which of these looks like a Twinkie the most. And I would say, honestly, it'd be something like this. Let's make some cool little... Okay. So that could be kind of like a cool little outer shell. And then on top of that, to delete and just create a basic noise around that. Something like that. And then when you apply like a, a texture around that, it should blend together and look cool. Um, but that looks good. Let's now select these two and give it the same treatment. Take the strength all the way down. What's up? Oh, they said you are slightly less audible on YouTube than on Discord. Interesting. Is that true? Hello, hello, hello. Um, that's interesting. Wait. Shouldn't be the case. I think that's just because Discord has like some voice enhancers going on, so maybe that's why it's amplifying my stuff. <clears throat> yeah. But I appreciate the update. some of these that we think would be good for the inside now. Life is showing. Perp, you want to relay that one? Okay. All right, so that's okay. I mean, What's up, Bridgety? All right, let's see here. Uh, so we're chilling on this Twinkie. I should probably add like, an indentation for the uh, creme de la creme. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh shit. Right on. Also, shout, uh, just a heads up to everybody who's either on Facebook, Twitch, or Twitter. <clears throat> if you guys are commenting, the only ones I can really see are the ones on YouTube right now, just because the chat's not really loading on OBS. But uh, other than that, yeah. So if you have anything to ask or say, then say it to my face on YouTube. Was that was, was that charged? <laughs> Period. All right, let's drag some cream. Yeah, sit in my face. And we got green. This man sucks. Damn, Hagal says noob. Hagal says noob. Thanks, bro. We're just trying to learn out here. We're just trying to learn. Let's see this. <clears throat> Yo. Know about my besties. We should know about my besties. Again, I will reiterate for those of you on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, uh, or anyone just watching, we are on Discord, so I'm not talking to myself. Or sometimes I do, but you know, you, you get the drill. <clears throat> Octavia, how you doing? Um, I don't really, I used to do a lot of like Skillshare stuff like way back in the day when I was doing just Cinema 4D work. Um, and I do have a couple tutorials, but they're they're pretty outdated at this point and they're using like 20 or R20, was it R23 maybe was the latest one? Um, but yeah, so I have plans in the future to kind of do some more of that stuff, but currently I don't think there's like a ton of links that I have um, for like pure beginner stuff but yeah <clears throat> i guess just follow me on ig if i do ever release anything like that it will be released on there so. oh thank you you look so good yeah wait what Damn, she doesn't want she doesn't want noodles to look good. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Too late. All right, so ooh. wait, why is this? Hold up. I guess I gotta wait. 
boom, boom. So I'm masking kind of by the poly groups here, and then I'm growing the mask. And then I can kind of take this uh, noise and kind of grow it even more. Actually, I probably shouldn't be doing this with both of them like this because it's going to be really weird, but it's going to come out. Kind of a lazy way of doing it. Like, you want these things to be centered. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. Hold up. Let's go select rectangle and just lasso. Try to center this as much as we can. This is why it probably helps to do this stuff before you change the orientation. <clears throat> if you know your way around and you kind of get the grasp of what the orientation is, it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, I'm kind of just trying to make sure I pull this stuff out on the right axes. And so once you do that, you should just be able to. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Now, oh wait. Oh, there we go. So now we can do it to this one. Um, again, I'm kind of eyeballing it. Doesn't really matter. Again, that's the thing with food. It doesn't have to be that exact. Like, who's to say it's not like this little bit versus this little bit? Like, it's just. It's all random. Thank you. I'll have to catch up then. Yeah, for sure. Will Raz, appreciate the smile. I just made my whole morning. Now we're just going to drag this one up. And perps are about mood. Hey, yo. And then uh, I think for here, <coughs> let's just go ahead and actually use the mask curve pen to drag around this area here. Cause I just kind of want to mask an area around the edges here. It's just kind of an easy way. And then when you tap, you bring the mask a bunch. Maybe put like a little noise there. That's what Rick said. the music you should oh well no the music's only <clears throat> only on youtube wait i'm so confused and i think that's the twinkie i think we're good there um you know we made the the skin of it a little bit forest and a little bit whatever but i think when you start texturing these things they they, they don't look as jaggedy when you got light bleeding through them and all that stuff so we're we're cool with that um <clears throat> should we do the which one should we do next okay. all right so we got the twinkie i'm gonna go up here and Honestly, is this a little bit too big? I feel like there's not. Let's maybe go. Yeah. 
and then maybe just a quick, not to get too detailed here, but a little bit of inset. I feel like uh, this house was over polished. And then when you mix that with a little bit of smoothing, it'll look a little bit more organic. King Lee, Jimmy Leach. Is that who? Is that rigged? It's definitely rigged. It's that rigged? <clears throat> yes, this will this will always be available to watch later, of course. I, honestly, these are the only live streams currently that you can watch later. Every day I stream via my Discord. So, you know, if you happen to catch those around 8 a.m. Eastern every day, you're goaded. But um, <clears throat> if not, um, yeah. Oh, he, yep, he said nice. Yep. So, yeah, appreciate you tuning in, bro. You a real one. Okay, so let's go in here. I'm not going to lay down. So I'm going to save this here. Shift S, we're going to save a screenshot there. We're going to put this in a group. That's crazy. It's only two sub tools that we made that with. So we're good. Super slide. Let me resave this. We love you, Patrick. Moi. Wow. King. Ki Wait. Is that? Is that this kitty? Bruh. Wow. Wouldn't it? Shouldn't it be Queen Kitty? All right. Here we go. Let's go. Twinkie. Oh, for a second life. Twinkie. Isn't second life a game? My what? Tell him not to talk about my mesh. <clears throat> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm playing. Okay. Um, what's up, Shelder? Uh, I always wanted to see your whole process, but sometimes I miss the start. <clears throat> I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Um, nice. Hop in the Discord if you want to get in on the... Uh, I mean, there's people talking right now. Um, they're kind of being mean to me, but... <laughs> I just play. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh... Alright, we're done with the Twinkie. I don't know why I duplicated it. We don't need the same. Delete all. Now we're going to create another... Which one should we make next? Perp. If someone doesn't say anything, I'm just going to pick, but... Ho-Ho, or the, whatchamacallit. Ah, uh, we'll do the cupcake. We'll do the cupcake, because because Kitty, is, is Kitty's world, we're just living in it, all right? So let's go and make, obviously, a cylinder. I never start with cylinders anymore. But we're gonna start here. I'm gonna create a new folder called Cupcake. Wow, for... And what do we do first? What do we do? I'm gonna let you choose, perp. Extrude it? Okay, so we're gonna go... Oh, you're at uni? That's awesome, bro. Um, are you studying this at university? So we're tapering this now. Ever so slightly. Mask open. <laughs> Yo, Rick, get in here. Show your show yourself. Yeah, currently at uni. Sadly, so watching. Uh, oh wait, no, I already read that. <clears throat> All right, so I think we can just uh, group by normals, which essentially by the normal faces we can separate the poly groups, which is exactly what we want. Let's remesh this, cause why not? What? What? The reason I give it a few subdivisions, that's what we want. And uh, let's go to a surface noise. Give it that cake texture. You don't even have to do too much else than the, the regular uh, keybrush noise. Invert that mask. Oh. 
And then we just go grab the blue poly group. Maybe, uh... Drag it out a little bit further. Subtool, extract, accept. Boom. Invert the mask. A little bit of uh, inflate balloon. Yeah, that's the part we're not going to do, actually. We're not going to do the loopy frosting. It's like, bro, of all pieces, we're going to skip over that. <laughs> it's kind of a weird shit. It's like, kind of lopsided and big. Is that like the point of this thing? Let's move it out. I want to say that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're going to grab the blue poly group again, mask it. Um, and then I think just like inflate certain parts of it so it has a little bit more height. Smooth, mask. Again, we don't need this, this much topology on here, so we're just going to go geometry, half, zero mesh. We don't even have to worry about the poly groups, to be honest, at this point. I actually asked you on a stream recently whether it was realistic or not to. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm saying 3D art, game design, but not specifically with game design as an end goal. Okay, cool. Currently open for anything. That's what, that's what university is all about, just being open to it. <clears throat> I actually asked you on another stream recently whether it was realistic or not to pursue a career in 3D. So you're currently on the grind. So, yeah, currently on the grind. Okay, cool. Gotcha. I do remember that on the, the Instagram live, right? Hell yeah, man. Well, I'm glad you're actually like pursuing this stuff as well. This is that's dope. All right, so this is this is good. Let's make these uh, little swirly things. How are we gonna make this? Anybody have any idea? What'd you say? Loopy frosting? Is that like the scientific name? I'm thinking. I would call it a lobsting. Loop sting. I think this is, hold up. I don't know. That's, um, there are bigger problems in the world than figuring out what the name of this type of frosting is. So thank you, Perp. I think, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what we should, All right, hear me out. Actually, wait. Oh my God. <laughs> like I'm just talking to you. Um, we're gonna take a ring. All right, hear me out. You hear me out? You hear me out? Okay. We're gonna Z modeler, BZM. We're gonna go Delete. Holly loop. Oops. Yep. Just like that. <clears throat> and we're going to go remesh. Half. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Half. One more time. We're going to mask this portion. We want as much flexibility as we can have. And then we're gonna... What? Okay, so we're gonna take this portion here and move it under. And this... Actually, I think that's it. And then we're going to go BZM. Actually, I think we can look. Yeah, I'm trying to. Wait. Okay, yeah. 
Let me go. Maybe. Okay, okay. Let's now. kind of you know making a little shape we just want to make one shape <clears throat> that's really it simply the best for food design appreciate that fam what'd you say perp oh. yeah literally it just looks like one of those like fundraisers uh, so we're going to bring this up here yeah Oh my god. We just want to grab one of these loops. Oops. Let me look at this right side up. Okay, cool. So this looks fine. I think that's good. Take this a little bit, you know. These aren't perfect, but we made the initial shape. Move this over here. There's a few different ways we do this, and I actually want to try the new method that I was thinking of, and that is close holes bruh I'm dead Damn. appreciate that fam okay so let's go <clears throat> It's fine, actually. Let me go. Oh, true. How long have you been doing 3D? Just a rough guess. Uh, about six years. Six and a half years, maybe. Yeah. Before I went to school for film and television. Um. Yeah, let me see. Yep. And then midway through college, I got into this. And I had an edge on the photorealism side because I was, I was lighting things in real life. And... Oh, I know how to make the soft shadows or the harsh, you know, lighting, which creates a certain emotion and mood. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's something where, like, if you just go to school for 3D, it's like, it may not be as apparent. Maybe you'll take a lighting, you know, unit or whatever, but I think just being able to do it in real life, it's like, that just makes the 3D world much easier. Yeti. And I think the only thing we really need to make sure about is here, let's say we auto group these so the segments oops, are a little bit easier to mess. And over here. Okay. Now let me try something. We have the basic shape here. Not sure how this is gonna work. But as long as it's leading to the next one, it should be fine. I'm gonna save this because this next part, sometimes I get crashes, not usually. B, 
Create insert mesh. New. Oh, and we did. Glad we saved. I don't know what it is about doing that, but you know. Mm. We're all good, everybody. We're all good. Oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, that's so cool. Yeah, I was wondering about your lighting because it looks amazing, but next Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, that, that has a lot to do with it. I was actually doing a lot of like music videos, commercial work in the film world before then. Oh. Oops. This is... I'm actually going to clone this. The only way I know to officially fix this for the time being is just clone the tool and just work off of the... Uh, this one piece. So now, if I go to create insert mesh, should work. Yep. Wait. Oh, wait. What did I just do? What is this? Any of this? Let me just open this again. I guess. I don't know what that was. Do that again. Clone. Insert mesh. <clears throat> Back to this project. Let's actually totally hide that. Create a new piece of mesh just as a placeholder. Move that out of the way. And uh, let's see how this is looking. Actually, let's not move that totally out of the scene. Let's just move it down. So we can see kind of what's going on here. And we could do that. Um, and it wouldn't actually take that long. But why don't we try the new, these, and insert mesh brushes, these are all new now. <clears throat> so instead of just being able to drag one out like this, you can now pick from any of these options. So if we go drag dot, let's go. So like I said, you can preview what it's going to look like on the surface. So we maybe need it a little bit bigger. Is that the size or a little bit bigger? A little bit bigger. A little smaller? I'll show you a loop. Is that good? Or we can try other ones where it's just dots. Oh my god. drag stamp color spray and then if we just play with the stroke we can go huh? wait how can you change the dots all right let's uh hmm. matter of fact maybe we should go to the curve mode stroke curve curve mode Why are those massive? Yikes. All right, you know what? What do you say? Oh, multicolored two brush will do better, I think. That's a good idea. Hello, Badger. Do you use the displacement map with Snow Party and ZBrush, or do you rely on the mask from ZBrush? <clears throat> uh, I usually don't bake them in ZBrush as far as this displacement maps. I usually just like generate them in Cinema. Matter of fact, I think for this specific case, oops, let's get this out. Let's go curve mode. Nope. Too small. Okay, that is about the size. Who knows? 
I think I just don't think they're... Why am I tweaking here? Okay. And again, we will actually finesse this a little bit <clears throat> more once we make the complete shape, but we don't have to worry too much about, you know, how it's looking right now. Obviously they're not completely connected at all. Did you say there's eight of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, damn. I think I'm slight, I'm getting slightly smaller each one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. You're slightly smaller. Woo. But you can see. Sorry, bro. <laughs> okay. We're looking good. Actually, what do you use for texturing? He's uh, octane currently for most of the stuff. Sometimes substance for like client related projects. <clears throat> but yeah. And because we have the move topological brush um, selected, we got no problem kind of interchanging these as needed. Okay, let's see. Actually, I wonder if we can, I don't know if that'll be accurate. <clears throat> Later. Don't forget to write home. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my. Not with that attitude. Again, it's cool that I'm being a little bit rough because we're going to, you know, fuse these things together in a sec. Honestly, could be bad. And there we go. Let's uh, inflate these. Actually, yeah, let's inflate these. Like that. And then we're gonna go duplicate this just so we have it. We don't need the sphere anymore. Delete hidden. Let's dynamesh these things together. I think we want the like a pretty high resolution diamond so it doesn't do anything crazy and then just polish. There you go. Okay. Cool. And we do have a rainbow kind of pattern there. We don't need that. We're not gonna actually use that ever, so.
And then maybe if you want, we can proxy pose this, get this down to something where we can like kind of finesse you know, the shape of these things and not like too uniform. Then let's decimate this. Decimate current. Now it's decimated, and then now that'll give us an easier time remeshing. <coughs> Shouldn't be that hard. Weld. Yes, that's what we just did. Sorry, I don't know if you said that like five minutes ago or five hours ago or like right now. Yep. There we go. Um. It's pretty much it. And then from here, you can obviously play with single sliders, make them a little bit less prevalent, more prevalent. It's fine to me. Let's add this to the list. Honestly, this part looks a little bit too... So let's go with like a color frame, maybe. I know what you're thinking. It's not that crazy. I agree with you. Oh boy, where did I just click? Quick. I just clicked something and I don't know. Quick 3D? Oh. So we're just going to do this, make sure we have, wait, what? I'm just going to be a wall curvy, isn't it? Okay. Okay. All right, use a little bit of inflate brush by the edges, maybe. And then just polish. good um yeah let's kind of save this out here i don't know why we have that much space up there but okay oh did we just hold up wait All right, last one. <clears throat> Let's just make this half of the ho ho. It's been almost an hour. Um, I think I'm ready to move on with my life. I'm sure you guys are too. There you go. So we have the hostess. We have the, yeah, it was charged. You got a problem with it? <clears throat> Oof. <clears throat> okay, cool. So. We got two of the things here already. Um, we got the uh, Ho-Ho, we got the Twinkie. Oh, what's up, Kenza? Can she speak up here? I don't know if that's a thing. There's a hand raised. Hey, go dude. How are we doing? Nice. We're almost wrapped up with the ZBrush live stream. Just making some uh, Oh, Keel, where you been, bruh? What seems to be the problem? Oh, nice. Love that. Okay, that looks fun. Hey, yo.
Yep, of course. Okay. That's facts. That's facts. That is a ho ho. What? Excuse me. Okay, so for this part, we gonna go actually. That's right. Yeah, dude, where you been? Later, bro. I'll have a good one, bro. Alright, we're gonna duplicate this. Boom. Oh, I oh, was. Yeah. New folder. Ho ho? How do you spell ho ho? Okay, bet. All right, duplicate this. Boom. Delete hidden. Thickness. HOA. Okay. Honestly, you're kind of singular to me. I always kind of thought that about you. Decent. Gang. Oops. Symmetry was on.
Let's save. It's been a minute. Hey yo, you saying the shit in it? Hey yo. That's a personal question. Nah, this has been good so far, bro. How about you? Oops. Were you at the Zebra Summit? You not remember? <laughs> Actually, brazy mode. All right, rematch time. Still remeshing. I know the reference has this like clean edge, but I feel like it needs to be a little bit. Better. There you go. Yeah, this
Z Snacks. What's up, Studio Kelpie? Good to have you. Uh, for the ZBrush live people, that'll be it. We'll be continuing some of the other stuff in uh, Discord later, but <clears throat> yeah, that looks mad in a good way. Oh, bet. I'm learning ZBrush at uni. Best piece of software. Dude, same. I'm like addicted to it. Um, and I don't even have an addictive personality. Uh, that looks mad in a good way. I didn't even know you can get textures like that in Zebra, right? You learn something new every day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys had a decent time creating these little Z snacks, as I like to call them. And uh, yeah, we got the hostess joints today. So really just one reference picture. That's all it really took. The rest, we're just kind of using our imagination. We just kind of go from there. Um, we'll see in the next one. I have to schedule it yet. Uh, so if you guys are interested in tuning into the next one i'll be posting that information on instagram along with the finished versions of these ones so instagram at patrick underscore 4d and we'll see you in the next one